Doctors are warning we're on the brink of a prescription painkiller epidemic similar to that seen in the United States. Over the past week, a coronial inquest in Sydney has heard that a record number of people are taking opioids and deaths from overdoses are on the rise. Tony is HIV positive and used to take opioid medication like fentanyl for chronic pain. When the prescription stopped, he turned to the black market. The street market, um, around 50 to 100 for a, a piece of fentanyl. I'm lucky. I, I have access to, you know, people who are willing to give me a full patch, you know, for a hug. <laughs> Fentanyl made headlines when US pop star Prince died from an overdose. 100 times name. stronger than morphine, the painkiller is prescribed to cancer patients and people suffering from acute pain. Prescriptions from all opioids have soared from 10 to 14 million a year since 2009, with overdoses now counting for more than a quarter of drug-related deaths. I've lost friends to opiate overdoses, people that I've loved. The problem is particularly bad in rural and regional areas. Doctors blame poor access to pain treatment services. They don't have the same access to chronic pain clinics. So there may be this feeling that they can't get in as quickly and so they need a larger or longer supply of the drugs to get them through to their next visit. And there's also less support for the GPs. And with heroin in short supply, addicts are turning to other opioids. Fentanyl is strong, it's long-lasting um, and it's available and so that's what people are using. In some regional areas, addicts are even stealing fentanyl patches from elderly people, assaulting them outside pharmacies. They might be strangers who see them get their prescriptions filled or they could be family members that uh, are aware that their family take those medications and uh, unfortunately it's quite a highly valuable commodity. That commodity is the subject of an inquest into six deaths in Sydney. Even seasoned drug users like Tony have come close to death. There was one time I had a fentanyl patch on and I'd forgotten about it. I could feel myself going over that point where you can't rouse yourself, which is a pretty good indication that you're overdosing. Paramedics can treat someone experiencing a fentanyl overdose by using the drug naloxone. It restores breathing and consciousness almost immediately. And while easy to use, some doctors want it to be more readily available to the relatives of drug users in the event of an emergency. If naloxone's not more readily available, I think we will continue to see an increase in deaths as we are already with fentanyl. It's really frightening to me, you know. It's, um, it's like playing literally Russian roulette with chemicals. And lives. Mark Reddy, ABC News, Sydney.